What's up guys, welcome to your sixth Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me Travis, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is install some new software that we can use for, I'm just kidding, we're getting into the XML and XML programming so we can set up some custom views and some custom layouts. So I want you guys to open up your layout folder and click on this main XML and you guys will get something like this. Now you can switch between the graphical layout which is this and the coding which is this by these two tabs down here graphical layout and main.xml basically all I'm gonna do in this tutorial is describe what's going on and teach you guys a little bit about XML it's a pretty simple language for the most part but you know it might be confusing right at the beginning you guys will pick this up quickly I'm I'm almost positive now the first line of code you see is isn't that important because anytime we set up a new layout it's gonna give us this code as well I mean it is important but uh, you guys won't have to remember typing this out every time because it's gonna define it for us And basically you need to have that as your first line of code for the most part and then what we do is we set up a linear layout which starts here and gives some attributes to the linear layout and it ends here basically what a linear layout is gonna do is it's gonna hold some other items such as a text and it's gonna kind of define basically the layout of th those items uh, to a sense so it's gonna kinda categorize them and do all that stuff let's see here. oh got a new whatever alright so what we're gonna do is basically kinda define this linear layout and uh, or I'm gonna describe everything that's going on within the attributes of this linear layout now we have this reference basically and that's all it is you guys don't again you don't have to really remember that because when we set up a new layout Eclipse will set up this reference for us so that's nice um, nice and pretty for new programmers where you guys don't have to remember the actual file path and type that out each time and then the next thing that we have is the orientation of our linear layout which is set to sorry set to vertical I was messing around with it and just so that's why I was changed and basically what that is going to do is it's going to set all the items within the linear layout vertically. So for example, if we copy this text view, or this text for the most part, oops, and paste it um, twice since I co cut it instead of copied it. So now we have text, two text, and we go into a graphical layout. They're placed vertically from top to bottom. That's just how our layout is going to work. Again, we can also set this horizontally as well as you guys just saw. So I'm going to do that real quickly uh, by typing horizontal and hit save, go to graphical layout, and man, I messed this up. All right, but you guys should have fill parent. Again, I was playing around with this as well, but just kind of wanted to show you guys what is going on, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Save that, and then we go into a graphical layout, and you're like, where's that other text view? And basically what's happening is being pushed off the screen right here. And I'll explain why that's happening in a second. As you guys just saw, I kind of changed the code, but that's how you guys should have your setup, because uh, you wouldn't have that changed code. So basically, now we're also adding two more attributes to this layout. Basically, we're setting the parameters of how big this layout is. And what the parameters are, well, the width is going to fill the parent so it's going to take everything that's available for the width so the whole screen's width for the most part and same with the height it's going to take all the height that is available to it and it's going to set that as its uh, basically um, basically that's its attributes or its uh, parameters for the most part so there you go you have your linear layout set up taking the whole screen and set to a horizontal orientation now within here we have our text view uh, which is basically just the text and again um, pretty much the same line of codes for these first two layout width we have that fill parent and as you saw I changed this um, to something like wrap content is the other option you can do and basically this is going to wrap the content of the text um, whatever text we have available so then now if we switch to graphical layout you can see the the pretty much the lay or the parameters of this text view is wrapping the content of the text. So those are your two options for the most part that you can use. You can also use you know pixels if you want, and we'll get into that later. But 
Uh, basically, I want you guys to remember fill parent and wrap content. And same for with the height, it's wrapping the content. Now the text says at string hello. And you're like, no, it doesn't. It says hello world starting point. Now basically what's happening is this is using a reference. Anytime you see an at within it, within the XML, it's using a reference. So it's referencing the string hello, and that string is located within our values. So we have this values and we have this string. So we're gonna say strings and there's a string called hello. So it's using this reference, and then this is the name of the reference, but it's displaying the value of the reference. So for example, we can set up a new string by clicking add string, and then we can set up a name called ref for reference, and say this is a reference, and uh, save it, and then go back into our XML, and we can also just do something like at string ref, and then we go over into our graphical layout, it says this is a reference, just that new string we set up. The alternative is you can also just type. So you can just type whatever you want without using the at symbol, as long as it's within quotations. And there you go. Uh, you can just display your type. Now the good thing about the references or for strings is basically if you're working for a boss that keeps changing his mind on the title of whatever the application or whatever, uh, if you guys have a title within your app, keeps changing the name instead of looking through all this code for where you typed the title you can just refer or set up a title a reference and then just go into your string under the values and look for that title and change the value there so that's kind of the benefit but hopefully you guys understand a little bit about the layout oh one other thing there's two ways to kind of close your statements you can see them both here um, basically we're setting up our, our linear layout here and it's closing down here now basically anytime you see a forward slash that's when it's closing so example you can use for I just kinda set up two different text views and they're closing statements so we have our text view and we set up some attributes and then we use the less than sign and then we use a greater than sign forward slash text view and then you know less than sign to close it or if you don't want to type this out every time you can just do forward slash uh, less than sign for your text. So there you guys go. Quick overview for XML. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.